David Brown's marijuana marketing students are often shocked to learn how difficult it is to market marijuana. Advertising medical cannabis is essentially banned in Canada, with some exceptions. Restrictions on recreational weed are set to be a bit looser, but Brown still advises students to think of the constraints as opportunities. These limitations can really aid in creativity. Marketing weed isn't difficult, but marketing a highly regulated cannabis product is a lot more of a challenge, said Brown, an instructor in Quantum Polytechnic University's Cannabis Professional Series. Read more, former head of RCMP Drug Squad now leads national marijuana business. As legalization looms, observers say Ottawa faces a tricky balancing act on marketing. Large growers say branding is necessary to convince consumers to switch to the legal market, while health advocates call for plain packaging and strict advertising limits. The Cannabis Act, which would legalize recreational marijuana next July, would restrict marketing similarly to tobacco. It would ban promotion that appeals to youth, contains false or misleading statements or depicts people, celebrities, characters or animals. It would allow ads that present facts or promote brand preference. But they could only be shown in places where youth are not legally allowed, or broadcast if reasonable steps have been taken to ensure they cannot be accessed by a young person. The rules have been criticized as hazy. It's unclear, for example, whether a commercial could air before a TV show or movie that is intended for adult audiences or how internet ads would be policed. Read more. Legalization of marijuana unlikely to kill Canada's black market right away. Health Canada spokeswoman Tammy Jarbo said the reasonable steps to ensure an ad cannot be seen by a young person would depend on the circumstances. For example, websites could use age verification mechanisms, she said. This would provide an opportunity to communicate factual information about cannabis, as well as information about a product's brand characteristics to allow adult consumers to make informed decisions, she said. She said the government was not considering changes to the advertising provisions of the legislation, but if it's passed by Parliament, Health Canada will develop guidance documents to help industry comply with the rules. Watch, former MLA Lindsay Blackett, who is now with the Canadian Cannabis Chamber of Commerce, joined Global News at noon Edmonton to discuss how all levels of government need to prepare for July the 1st marijuana legalization. 17 licensed producers have formed a coalition for responsible cannabis branding and put forward proposed guidelines, including that ads be allowed on TV, radio and websites where at least 70% of the audience is expected to be over 18. Provinces can introduce additional marketing rules. Quebec's framework allows some ads in newspapers and magazines where 85% of readers are of the legal age, as well as in displays inside cannabis stores. Offloading it to the provinces is not the answer, said Lindsay Meredith, a Simon Fraser University marketing professor, who added it can lead to spillover advertising, where ads that comply with rules in one province are shown in another where they don't.